Well, we're almost through 2023 and into 2024. And what better time than now than to start using this? <laughs> Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's episode 73. Yeah, 73 of What's on the Bench Weekly. And if you're not familiar with this show, it's where I take you through projects that I'm working on, some completed, some not completed. And uh, this episode is no different. Actually, it is a little bit different. It's sort of more of a retrospective look back at all of the stuff that I built this year that I'm proud of <laughs> and still have because I didn't sell it. So yeah, we're gonna try to go through some of my more favorite projects so you can get a better, closer look at them now that they're complete. If it's not complete, it doesn't count. No special mentions either. All right, first thing that I'm proud of this year uh, was my first drift car, the uh, RWB Porsche. This is, um, this was a very long build for Lexan of all things. Uh, but highly detailed body from Pandora, lots of great scale details. Uh, it does have a dashboard and interior-ish, uh, and uh, I'm just really kind of happy with all the extra time and effort that I put into this to make it look the way it does. Um, of course, these are not the wheels that I started with. That side it does look better when it's all just flat black, doesn't it? That does look better. Uh, yes, but because uh, I'm, you know, you, this chassis is getting used for other things. Maybe, who knows? Uh, but those actually, those don't look too bad on there. Anyway, um, yeah, I was really pleased with this. Uh, I definitely wanted to kind of step up my Lexan game and see if I could do something that kind of, you know, looked better than most Lexan bodies generally do. And uh, I think I kind of, I think I nailed it. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the results. Um, this whole back wing assembly is a resin printed piece that Pandora offers uh, that does come with the decals as well because this is a RWB licensed body. Um, but yeah, it comes with everything you need. Uh, door mirrors. Um, no, actually it doesn't come with a wiper, oddly enough. Uh, you don't get a wiper. But you do get an engine. Which I think looks amazing back there. They did a really nice job of doing all Lexan. I just painted it on the outside, did some dry brushing to uh, kind of pick out some of the detail work. And I think it looks really good. In fact, I actually prefer driving it without the wing uh, because it is heavy and it is resin and uh, I'm sure to break it. Knowing me, I'm not the best drifter yet. I'm getting there, but it takes a lot of practice and I can only go there once every couple weeks. I'm a very busy man, what can I say? <laughs> uh, but yeah, really, really happy with this. Uh, the chassis underneath is the, what is this? This is the Yokomo YDS2, uh, which I was, you know, uh, you know, it's a pretty decent chassis. It's It, uh, it definitely works very well. Um, I just didn't really ever get very good with this setup. Uh, it does have a lot more setup possibilities than the RevD RDX that I'm using now. Uh, but uh, I think I will come back to this one. I think I just need to sort of um, not use this body that I, that I did because it's just too darn nice. I feel so, I feel bad whenever I use it. Um, all the real mesh in there. That looks really cool, doesn't it? Just the, the level of detail that this body comes with. It's just fantastic. And I kept it pretty clean on the inside too. It's not a big mess under there. I should add lights. Now that I think about it, uh, even got some exhaust pipes on the back there too. Like it's, it was, uh, it was definitely a labor of love and it took a long time, but I'm very happy with the results, even though it's Lexan. But that's last year. That's a last year problem. We don't need to worry about that in 2024. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, on to the next thing. Hey, look, it's another drift car. Wow. Uh, you can probably tell what my focus was for the last half of this year. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is the RevD RDX. This is a A-Plastics Volvo 240 body. Uh, that is a coupe, for those of you paying attention. And uh, I based this off of Kazil Salim's uh, rendering that he did. He works at a video game company. And I saw this online. I was like, yes, I have to build you. So I did. Uh, this was less about making it look crisp and nice and more about making it look like shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it does uh, intentionally. Uh, side pipes, 2JZ swap, because obviously, why not? Uh, and uh, a myriad of paint techniques to make it look crusty. And boy, does it. But I will say that the RDX chassis underneath this is fantastic. I absolutely love driving this car. It works so much better. I just feel like a more capable as a drifter. Lots of 3D printed details. Uh, I added some radiators and uh, coolers and whatever these things are. Uh, so this is some of that braided hose from Tamiya. I really like using this stuff. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, it just really kind of suits the whole build uh, and makes it kind of look more drift missile-esque. I don't even know what these are called, but some sort of like loop uh, connector and it actually works really well as a tow hook. Uh, threw some mirrors on there and it's also got the crawlers and customs decel led setup so as you accelerate and decelerate or brake uh, it shows different leds on there and that's for the judges so they know what you're doing in formula drift um, added this universal wing to the back here uh, made it sort of look like a uh, uh, I don't know, sort of like a uh, speed bump. Uh, I thought that was just kind of like, kind of a nice touch. And one of my own uh, license plates on the back there too. So a little bit of everything on this one. I've actually got some real Vo Volvo, Volvo? Why can't I say Volvo anymore? I've got some real Volvo R uh, rims coming from Gear Guy RC. Uh, I can't wait to build those. Those are gonna be super fun. And uh, then that's it. I'm just gonna keep driving it and drifting and uh, I'll probably be there on Saturday because I love it so much and it's cold and cruddy outside so this is the perfect way to get yourself through the winter if you live in a place where there is winter yes Volvos is there anything they can't do <laughs> there you go Volvo build uh, very proud of this one as well on to the next thing I don't think this list could ever be complete if I didn't share Dippy. This is the Spare Time Hobbies UTB-18 Bugger Conversion Kit. It takes a UTB-18 and makes it a scale class 1 capable rock crawler out of it. You lose all the stuff, basically. You keep the links, the transmission, the axles, drive shafts, and that's about it. Everything else goes. Uh, this is also using the Knight Customs Hoonigan interior, so it actually has a functioning uh, movable driver. He turns his head, he can pull on the brake, uh, he steers. Uh, it's just, it is, I was so chuffed by this one, and I loved adding another dippy, shippy variant to the collection. Uh, it was just super fun to build this. I loved weathering the body. The kit was super easy to put together and convert the UTB-18 into this. It's just, it just let me flex some creative muscles and have a bit of fun with weathering and also with some accessories and building some other parts to just kind of make this a little more unique. I think adding the Night Customs interior was a, a definite must do. So if you've got one of these and you want to add a little bit more realism, I would definitely recommend putting that interior in there because it really does add so much more dimension to this vehicle. Yes, you take away some performance because you're adding weight, but who cares? This is the Scale Builders Guild. Not the Scale Robot Crawler Build. There's Guild. Uh, if, of course, if you are interested in picking up any of the things that I'm sharing in this video today, I will be sure to put links down below so you can go check out all of these products for yourself. Um, yeah, because they're awesome. And you should definitely support small companies like Spare Time Hobbies. He's doing good stuff out there. All right, on to the next thing. From one Beetle to another, here's my Porsche build for this year's uh, national regional event. This is a class one legal carbon fiber Porsche. Josh and I built these this year uh, remotely from each other. He sent me files, I printed things out, I made all of the carbon fiber, I did all of the assembly, obviously. I painted both engines. <laughs> uh, this was just such an absolute blast it was a very time consuming project for me 
um, considering I had never done most of the things that I ended up doing on this vehicle, uh, like carbon fiber work for one, mold making, um, there was a lot of DIY. There's not many products, there's not many things on here that weren't either printed or cut out of carbon fiber and uh, made into this beautiful car. I am, this is absolutely one of my most favorite builds ever. And it's one of those things that won't ever be sold. So don't ask, cause I, I'm not going to sell it. It's just, it's too fun. It's just too different. I just noticed the windshield isn't stuck in there properly anymore. <laughs> That's a problem for another day. Um, yeah, it's just, it's one of those things that, um, was hard to visualize because we didn't really start with anything other than some digital plans and to have it get to this state and to be able to hold it in my hands and know that if I were to take this body off, I could swap it out for Josh's body is pretty amazing. I'm like thoroughly blown away by what we were able to accomplish. And it actually drives really well too. So, you know, not only does it look cool and be unique, it actually drives. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> uh, this was uh, something that I think we're probably going to start investigating again. Uh, this sort of project where we both do some of the work. Um, yeah, we've got hopefully another Nationals level event this year for 2024. And it would be great to do something like this again. We've got some big ideas, so definitely stay tuned for that. And of course, if you're enjoying this video and you like seeing me reminisce about things that I built, <laughs> hit the like button. Why haven't you subscribed yet? Yes. All right, uh, on to the next thing. This was a super fun one as well. This is my BRX02 uh, Series 3 Land Rover. Uh, featuring the scale garage system rear rack uh, and this truck. I'm just so happy with the final result I think it looks great. It's exactly what I was hoping for the right amount of weathering uh, I'm still adding some accessories, but I the truck itself is done. So let's just call a spade a spade um, It just it looks great. It is a very accurate scale chassis uh, Boom Racing did an amazing job with this one and to add another whole different Land Rover body style is just icing on the cake. They actually have an 88 now as well, so you could get a shorter wheelbase one if you wanted. Uh, but I like these long unwieldy ones. And uh, the video I've got planned for this, I am actually going to drive it from one end of Toronto to the other. Maybe. We'll see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> May actually, you know, I was thinking I would just do like a highlight and just film like little bits and pieces of that journey. I might just do the whole thing. See how far we get. That might be more fun. That might be an actual expedition and a good challenge. It'd be a great video to make. If you think that would be a great idea, do post a comment down below. You know I love reading through your feedback. And I try to answer as many of them as I can. All right, uh, yeah, this one does have an engine bay and there's all kinds of nice little bits and pieces going on. Uh, inner fenders from QFRCY or Quinton Farsi. Yes, uh, he also did the engine inside. Um, yeah, that's about it for this one. Uh, not much to talk about the weathering, I guess, and uh, all the decal work. Sorry, not decals. Uh, all the weathering was really fun to do. I used uh, oil dot technique and a few other things with airbrushing. Uh, the other thing I'm most proud of, I think, is the stencil work that I did using my Cricut uh, to put all of these patterns on the side of the truck. Yeah, and the flag on the, on the bonnet, as it were. Yeah, so yeah, another, another fun build. I, I really, I realized as much Lexan as I did this year, I actually did a fair bit of hard body stuff too. And of course, going into 2024, my goal is to limit Lexan work on hard bodies and do the fun stuff again get my hands dirty so on that note um i can't think of anything else great that i built this year so <laughs> that's not done and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's not done this chair's still pretty squeaky yeah i guess that's sort of that's sort of it i think what else did i build Surely there was something else. Nope, that's gonna do it. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year, and thank you for all the support over the last year. Let's make 2024 an even bigger year than 2023 was. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next year.